Whoa, that's really good. Do I have been with you? I'm Beryl, and again, inspired by my last video, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna have an international pizza party for one. <laughs> I went on YouTube and I said, what type of pizza toppings do you like on your pizza and where do you live? And again, you guys responded. I looked through the comments and I picked out seven topping combinations from seven countries to try out the different ways that you recommend I should eat pizza from around the world. Instead of spreading this all out over a week, I, I'm just gonna go for this in one day. I think I'll be fine. I think. So this is the pizza toppings episode. So the first pizza I'm trying was submitted from Australia. They said that on their pizza, they like barbecue sauce, ham, and pineapple. I'm gonna use barbecue sauce as the base instead of tomato sauce. You always need to start with a little bit of cheese on the base, add a little bit of pineapple, put some cut up ham, and top with cheese. And put it in the oven. Ta-da! Okay. First pizza from Australia. I have actually never had barbecue sauce on pizza before. This is good. <laughs> okay. The barbecue sauce is kind of sweet and the pineapple is kind of sweet and the mozzarella cheese is saltier. Also, there's a bunch of pizzas that have pineapple on them, so get ready. Pineapple is apparently much beloved. I don't miss tomato sauce at all on this. I actually love this. Thank you, Australia. This is fabulous. This next way of eating pizza was submitted by somebody living in England, although this is a Scottish thing. So there's two parts to this. The deep frying part that is flour, baking powder, and salt, and then the pizza that you serve with white vinegar and french fries at the end. So you're gonna pour out the flour, not like that though. Clean that up, clean that up. Pour out the flour, add a little bit of baking powder, a little bit of salt, some water, mix it up. Ooh, a little more water, keep mixing. Cayenne, because I heard that's good. Then it needs to be in the fridge for 15 minutes. You're gonna have the oil heating up on the stove. Once the batter is ready, you're gonna take the pizza and cover it in the batter. Carefully put it into the oil. Push it in, get it nice and deep fried. Take it out, let it cool. Plate it very nicely with french fries. Ta-da! Okay, this is definitely my first time eating deep fried pizza. There's a first for everything. So I need to put some vinegar on this. Okay, this is so good. The batter's really crunchy. This was my first time deep frying and I feel like it wasn't that scary. There's not much to say. Unless you're somebody who really objects to deep frying, deep frying anything makes it better. And pizza's no different. Yum, the vinegar is good. <laughs> this is one of those things where you have to like thank the internet because I would have never, I would have never come across this without you guys. The next type of pizza I'm having was submitted from Brazil. This one is just shredded chicken and a type of Brazilian cheese called catipuri. So tomato sauce as the base. Put the shredded chicken on top. Ooh, put that, okay, better. Squirt out the catipuri and spread it, I guess. That's looking, that's looking better. And put it in the oven. And it's done. Ta-da! So this submission came from Brazil 
and it was actually in the Pizza Around the World video as well. So it's all coming full circle. It's shredded chicken and katapuri cheese, which is a Brazilian soft cheese. Oh, this is just out of the oven. It's so hot. I should have waited longer. Very interesting. It is not similar at all to mozzarella cheese. It is very creamy. And like a very umami rich cheese. Okay. This pizza was submitted from Malaysia. It is tuna fish with pineapple, again, and Thousand Island dressing. Okay, so tomato sauce base, a little bit of cheese to start out, put some tuna fish, spread it around, add the pineapple, a little more pineapple. Okay, then cheese on top, and then I'm guessing, and I'm just kind of putting the Thousand Island dressing across the top, and I'm gonna bake it like this. Okay, it's done. Ta-da! I have <laughs> never tried tuna or Thousand Island dressing on a pizza. The Thousand Island I get. I mean, this is kind of like a really extra tuna melt. And a tuna melt is great. If you like tuna fish, then you would like this. It's a tuna melt. Or maybe a tuna melt is a pizza and we've just been calling it by the wrong name. The pineapple is a funny addition though. Cause you're all like, yeah, I'm eating a tuna melt. Like this is great. And then boom, big piece of pineapple. Right at you. And yet like I ate it. I ate all of this, so. <laughs> this one is called a Savoyard. Savoyard? I can't do accents. It needs heavy cream, Gruyere cheese, potato, and bacon. Yes. So you're gonna use heavy cream as the base, and you're gonna put a little bit of Gruyere cheese grated on that, and then put the bacon, a little more bacon, a little more bacon, and then cover it with thinly sliced pieces of potato, and then you're gonna put bigger slices of Gruyere on top and bake it. And it's done. It looks pretty good. This is going to be a decadent bite. I can feel it. There's a lot happening. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Why does good food make me giggle? Okay, the bacon is really good. It mixes so well. I put these kind of big slices of Gruyere cheese on top, which just like melts into everything and coated the potatoes in this amazing, amazing way. <laughs> it's really rich between the cream and the Gruyere cheese, but then you have this really salty, crunchy bit from the bacon and I'm gonna have some of the second bite. I don't know if I could eat a full pizza like this, but a split around the table, yes, delicious. This pizza was submitted from Sweden twice, actually. It's shredded chicken with pineapple and banana and peanuts and curry powder. Okay, so tomato sauce on the bottom, a little bit of cheese as the base, shredded chicken, and then the pineapple. Okay, then cheese on top. And then I'm gonna put the banana on, just slices of banana and the curry powder. Oh, and some peanuts. And bake it. <laughs> Looks pretty good. If I didn't know any better, I would have thought that this pizza was a troll, but this pizza is also in the Around the World pizza video. And I got multiple responses about this topping. So this is my first time having banana on a pizza. I'm game. <laughs> it works. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh 
<laughs> what? What is happening? There's two types of fruits on here, which is definitely one more than you need. The banana, what? I know what it is. The banana's cooked, so the sugars are tasting very different in it, but the curry powder on top balances it in such a way that it kind of almost acts like more cheese, but not. Does that help? I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not like a real food critic. I don't know why this is working. <laughs> okay. It's good. This pizza was submitted from Dubai and it is artichoke hearts, anchovies, hard boiled eggs, and bacon. So we're gonna do tomato sauce as the base, a little bit of cheese. Okay, put the artichoke hearts on top. I love artichoke hearts. And the anchovies. Go big or go home. We're putting four anchovies on top. And the hard boiled egg, make it look pretty. Cover with cheese. And I realized that I forgot the bacon after I put it in the oven, but we will rectify that later. It's amateur hour over here. I forgot to put the bacon on it. And that is a rookie move, right? I feel bad, but I brought it. So it's not baked in, but it's still gonna be a part of it. I've never had hard boiled egg on a pizza. I've definitely had fried egg on a pizza with runny yolk, but not hard boiled. <laughs> I don't really have much to say about the anchovies because I find them to just be very salty. However, I love artichoke hearts on pizza. Artichoke hearts, I think, are one of the most underrated foods. They're so good. I have so much food in my teeth right now, I can feel it. Whatever. I can appreciate the flavors. It might not be my cup of tea, but it's not bad. So I just woke up from a two hour nap. It was too much pizza. My body just <laughs> shut down. I don't think that any of them were, oh, the light. I think that this has been really fun and interesting because pizza is such a universal food and yet the toppings were so wildly different. So many of the toppings I would have never even thought to try myself. And I think that when people travel, they're all like, oh, we need to try the local cuisine. You know, like, let's not get pizza. We know what pizza is. No, I don't think that we actually know what pizza is when we travel. And I have now decided that pizza needs to be on the list of foods to try when visiting another country because you get such a different flavor palette. It was really fun. I'm gonna include a link in the description so that you can see all the different toppings that people recommended and you should take a look. And in the comments here, let me know. Are there any pizza toppings that I absolutely should try? And also, what did you think of the ones that I did try? Any of them were just too crazy for you? This was really fun though. I liked it. My pizza world has been expanded. <laughs>